in my mind right now as I'm looking at Melissa and the Weather yes. Center. I'm wondering if this could be our last really hot hmm. weekend, you know, Friday, really, you know? Yeah, could that's a question. It? That's a question I've been wondering as well because it's just that time of year. Our average high temperatures are down to the upper 70s at this point, not the upper 80s, definitely not the upper 90s. Uh, and so we've gotten this late season of very summer-like conditions, but yeah, uh, this is all quickly coming to an end. 84 was the high temperature in Eugene yesterday, 83 in Corvallis. You managed to get to 90 degrees uh, again in Roseburg last night, 97 in Medford. That was the hottest spot in the state. And we're also seeing these uh, warm conditions, 90s all the way over to the Idaho border. Uh, the coast uh, seeing those clouds uh, keeping you a little bit cooler. Temperatures there only getting into the mid 60s. Now that high temperature of 84, it doesn't sound that warm, especially since uh, we started out in the weekend, the 90s, but uh, that is six above average for this time of year. And a record at this point, only 96. And that that was set back in just 1999. Haven't seen any rainfall. We haven't really seen that part of the season change either. Uh, still 15.62 inches below average in rainfall for this point here in 2013. So we are still seeing clear skies overhead uh, until you get right down to the surface, about a thousand feet and below. That's where we're seeing some cloud cover this morning. Again, it is that marine layer that has formed along the coast and pushed here into the valley. And temperatures are a couple degrees cooler than they were this time yesterday, uh, down to 58, a dew point of just 56. And our winds are holding from the southwest at about 5 miles per hour. Visibility still the full 10 miles should be uh, an easy commute into work or school today. So take a look at our overall weather pattern. Jet stream still well to the north of us. And as long as that stays to the north of us, we're going to continue to see above average temperatures. We also still have high pressure here at the surface, which which is helping to clear out those uh, clouds midday and bring us back the sunshine and bring our temperatures back uh, to the mid 80s. And as we head into Saturday, I do expect us to be even a little bit warmer uh, because that area of low pressure is going to slide further on to the east and that helps that high pressure to be the dominant feature here. So uh, warm today, even warmer tomorrow. But we do still have these storms out here that are uh, brewing in the Pacific and those are eventually going to start to move inland. First one's going to get here Sunday and then they're going to roll in about every 24 hours. So today, cloudy this morning, sunny this afternoon. Saturday, expect even more sunshine, so a few degrees warmer. And then Sunday through Thursday, it's going to be much cooler. It's going to be cloudy, and we are going to see those showers moving through. Uh, again, we still have today sunny this afternoon. Don't let those clouds fool you this morning. As we head into Saturday, again, even less cloud cover. Uh, and then as we head into Sunday, here comes those clouds, and they're pretty much here to stay for next week. So mid to upper 60s along the coast, mostly cloudy skies for you. Uh, you'll see your first raindrops falling early Sunday, and then it's off and on through Thursday. The Umqua Basin will another day back near 90 degrees. You'll see that nice sunshine this afternoon. Same story Saturday and then by Sunday night you could see some thunder showers moving in especially for eastern Douglas County and then those highs fall all the way to 72 by Tuesday. The Cascades still sunny and warm in the 80s, upper 80s in central Oregon. You'll also see chances for thunder showers those Sunday uh, and then some rain showers lingering into Monday. And for the valley, mid 80s, morning clouds, afternoon sunshine, even warmer tomorrow. Then we take that huge nosedive down uh, to the mid 70s Sunday and then it's low 70s Monday through Wednesday.